All right, here's a quick video about what I mean about the inputs and the outputs. So these are coming from a PCB, right? And so the inputs, this side is on the IC. And so <laughs> just let me, I'm gonna turn that red for a second. So this particular line, right? It's going to be a little bit hard to draw, right? Has to be from here, all right? So, and I don't think there's any way to nicely move it. So, can't seem to delete it but so anyway you have to delete that and then over here click that pin and I'm I'm just drawing this terribly right Okay, so then that would go into there. All of these lines can go to the output, and you can, you know, we can monitor those. But they all have, all these have to be deleted and taken from this side. So you actually have to move the output part over here so that you can do more, uh, more easily draw things out and this has to be moved to the left so that you can fit all these pins so every single wire here right has to be on this side because the inputs come in from from this selector and then this is the input side of the chip this is the output side of the chip and so you can have the pseudo random bit stream generator oops you can also have the output of the converter here and the output of the converter here, right? And then um, this NAND gate, the out output of the actual multiplier, would get wired back up here. You can have all the LEDs you want on the right-hand side of the output, right? We zoom in. Okay. This is the inside of the chip. This is the outside of the chip. And so the way you've got it is you have the outside of the chip talking to the inside of the chip, which it, it can't do. Okay. So that's really what you got to do to fix everything. 